of the champions. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, it's going to get good. It's going to get good. Don't worry about it. It may be a little different for some of you, but it's, it's going to get good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we gather another champions um, from, we'll be taking our text from uh, First Chronicles. First Chronicles, the 12th chapter. Amen. I'm still blessing the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you all still with me? Yes, sir. I'm giving, I'm giving some, some David kind of testimonies. Amen. David went through many of things. Amen. But I, I think it because he still was the warrior, still remained the shepherd. Amen. Still remained the worshiper. Oh, yeah. Still remained a great leader. Amen. Still remained a praiser through it all. Amen. Amen. Some folks go through it, they can't do nothing on them. That's right. Are, right. are you all with me? Right. Amen. You, you need an ignite? <laughs> I'm checking you. I'm checking you. Uh, the, the ignite, uh, that, that, that's uh, one of the, uh, the business that I have. I sell, I, 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 my business is dealing with, you know, the, the herbs and uh, Ignite is an energy chewable pill. It's chewable, everything I got is chewable. It's, 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 it's the energy. Like they drink the Red Bull, but it's all natural. And it gives you the energy that you need. That's why I actually you need an Ignite. And then don't you go to sleep on me. I'll make you stand up up in here tonight. Amen. Amen. Stand up in here tonight. Because we, we, we just get ready to, at, at, you know, 37,000 feet. Amen. Tighten your seatbelts. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tighten your seatbelts. You're going to sleep up in here. All right. Amen. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. It'll <laughs> get all that good singing and praising up in here. Yes. You ain't going to sleep. <laughs> Amen. If we here, let us stand. Amen. We can hear to read. Amen. He said, Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself closed because of Saul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of war. They were armed with bows and could use both right hand and left and hurdle stones and shooting arrows out of a boat. Even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. My God. Uh, verse 8 says, And of the Gadites, they have separated themselves unto David into the hold of the wilderness, of, of the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shields and bucklers whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 17 says, well verse 15 says, and they that went out over Jordan in the first month when it had overflowed all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both towards the east and the west. And it came to pass, and, and it came, and there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. Verse 17, and David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye become peaceably unto me, to help me, come on and say, to help me. help me. My heart shall be knit unto you. But if you come unto, uh, if you come, if, if you if ye be become to betray me unto my enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hands, the God of our fathers, look thereon and rebuke it. Amen. Listen, verse 22 says, For at that time, day by day, there came to David help to help him until it was a great host like the host of God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of this awesome God. Amen. The gathering 
of the champions. Amen. 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 We don't get to this place in God picking daisies and goofing off and uh, golfing all the time and sleeping all day long. And, you know, we don't get to this place in God where God is trying to take us to. We have to understand something along the way, even in our pastor and our apostleship, that every wave of people that have come into your church uh, thus far, they met, uh, they came for a season and for a reason. Amen. 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 Uh, each, each stage of your ministry had a certain group of people uh -huh. that would take you to the next level. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so because uh, this is how we have seen it down through the years, even to get you here, it took some people to get you here, right. even though they wasn't here to stay. Right. So anytime that folks come into the presence Amen. Into a church, into a body, there is a withdrawal that the apostles need to be able to, 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 to do. We need to make the withdrawal out of the folks that God allowed to come into our ministries. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes we have to be so mature in this thing that sometimes we may have conflict or, you know, uh, some trouble go on and folk may leave the ministry. But just because they have left, I'm not through with you yet. Right. Amen. Listen, I got a purpose. There's a purpose for you. There's a reason why you came to this ministry. Because I have purpose for you. Amen. And I'm going to put a demand. It might not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may be a year from now. It may be two years from now. But you still have the resources that I need for the place that God has taken me to. Amen. For the place that he's taking me to, God is a master recycler. Amen. So he has no souls to throw away. So he's a master recycler. It may be two years down the road, but I don't hold no grudges. Amen. Because I'm after my inheritance. Hallelujah. I'm after what God has already told me and declared was mine. I need some stuff that some people got. Amen. In order to take me to the plateau that God has predestined for me. Look at somebody telling me talking about the gathering of the champions. Amen. Amen. Because it's going to take some real leadership in this hour to come to the place to let God know that I'm your man. Amen. I'm your man that you've been seeking for. I'm the one now that you can trust because David had a trust issue with these men. He had a trust issue with them, man, because you trying to take my life, you trying to do things to me that I have been for you. Listen, we war together. That's right. We fought together. Amen. Amen. We did some things together. And now this is what this is what you got for me? Right. That's okay. That's all right. But now things that turned around. I still need what's in you. Still need. Take it, listen, to take a mature man. And so to come to this level of maturity, I need to know that, listen, no matter what you did, I ain't putting my mouth on you. Saul trying to take me out, but don't you touch him. That's still God's anointed. Amen. Because when God gets through with me and gets through with this situation, I'm still going to be who God said that I am. You can't touch it. Amen. You can't stop me from becoming because I've already received the power to become. Amen. I feel something up in here tonight, man. I'm telling you, I feel something up in here. Amen. I feel something up in here. Oh, I want to share something with you right quick in the book of uh, Nehemiah. Amen. And it's going to, you know, it's going to take us uh, from uh, this, this scripture here in the 22nd verse. Amen. Nehemiah uh, 9. Nehemiah 9 and verse 6. All right. Amen. 9 and verse 6. Hallelujah. I got, I got somewhere to go with this right quick. All right. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. I mean, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Amen. 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 
ready to go. Nehemiah 9 and 6 says, yeah, I'm right here. He said, thou, even thou, art the Lord alone. Thou has made heaven, the, the, the heavens of the earth, my God, with all their hosts, even all the things that are therein. Now, now check this out. I'm going somewhere. Hear, hear me now. And sees in all that is, come on, say is. Yes. That, that's present tense. Therein, and thou preserveth them all, and the host of heaven worshipeth thee. Amen. He said, the host of heaven worshipeth thee. Um, go with me to the book of Hebrews 12 and 22. Then we're then we, then we going to talk on this and then I'm going to move on. Amen. I feel, I feel good up in here right now. Amen. Sounds good. feel real blessed. Amen. 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 So he, Hebrews 12, 22. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bless you tonight, Apostle. Amen. 12 and 22. It says, But ye are come unto Mount Sinai mm -hmm. and unto the city of the living God the heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels. Now, 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 now check that out. Check it out now. Uh, 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 Hebrews 11 uh, spoke of the heroes of faith because of the, of, of the uh, of their prosperity. Amen. Uh, Revelations 5 and 11 uh, deals with the innumerable hosts which no one could number which showed the innumerable vastness of God. Yeah. Amen. And so when God gets ready to bless, amen. See, one thing about the book, the Bible, it's right all by itself. And if you're able to walk this thing out, then you're going to really reap the benefits of everything that I that has transpired in my life from the time that I've been serving God and walking with God, amen. And so uh, John 15 tells us that, 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 that there is three different uh, times that I will purge you, amen. And then when I get through purging you, I'm going to give you fruit that remains, amen. That means that I'm going to operate in the multiplication of everything that you have lost, everything that you have sold in the kingdom, amen. Everything that you have even spoken to, even during the time that you were going through, and you still maintained, you still stood, you still acknowledged me in all the hell that was breaking loose in your life. Amen. When, when, when folk walked out on you, when you was dealt with treacherously, amen, when people called you everything but a child of God, he said, listen, I'm going to multiply everything that you have sown in the kingdom of God. Amen. I'm not going to leave nothing out. He said, I'm going to multiply you so that I'm taking you to the word that how he told David that David was being increased day by day and that I am like the host of God. What is the host of God? God got the grass as a host. Amen. God got flowers as a host. He got trees. Amen. Listen, God got the fowls of the air. He's got the beasts of the field. Listen, he got everything that creepeth up on the face of the earth. He got everything that walketh up on the face of the earth. He's got the beasts of the field. He's got the fish in the sea. God got army is so vast. Now we got to see this thing in the spirit now. Abraham looked out in the stars and said, hey, Lord, I'm just going to take you at your word. Because anytime that God is able to take you into the spirit, he's going to show you some things that ain't nobody else seen. Amen. He's going to revelate you like he ain't revelated nobody else. Amen. Because we got to understand, the more I stand, the more I will see the gathering of the champions. Amen. I will see the fruit that is going to remain. This thing is so vast until I can't fathom this in my little finite mind. Amen. I need, I need the mind of Christ if I'm going to see like he sees. Amen. He said, listen, this thing is innumerable. Amen. And John went off in the spirit. He said, I see a number that no man can number. Amen. I see it coming. And so we have to understand that no matter what I've been through, God is going to do what he said he was going to do for me.
Amen. If he brought me through for 21 years, walking with him, and then brought me through when I wasn't walking with him, I knew it was him because he had purpose for me before the foundations of the world. Hallelujah. So even the man on the run, amen, is an amazing anointed as king. And all of a sudden finds himself as a fugitive. That's it. That's it. Still anointed to be the next king, though. Yeah. Still anointed. I'm a fugitive, but I'm still anointed. Yes. Amen. Listen. <laughs> David understood when he was coming to the close of all his days of being a fugitive. Now he comes in Samuel 21 and messes up the priest. Deceives him and found out later that it cost him his life. Out of all that, I'm still anointed as king. Now, in, in, in a desperate time, we always say it calls for desperate matters, right? That's right. So, listen, in a desperate time, I still need to trust God. God. Absolutely. That's it. That's it. Absolutely. So because he fell short of that, that's on record for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. That lets me know that, listen, it don't need me reacting because I'm going to mess something up. Yeah. And after he come to himself, the Bible lets me know from the study that he penned the words in Psalms 34. Come on. And listen, I found out that, listen, on, in my darkest hour, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. I, listen, I don't have to do nothing crazy right. when things is not looking good. Right. When things is not moving like I desire them to move right now. The Bible told me, stand still and see. And there's some things that you got to see God working out on your behalf. Some things you got to see him working out on your behalf. Otherwise, you're going to miss the move of God. That's where we're going, amen. That's where we're going. You're going, to, you're going to miss the move of God. There's such a great move of God that is happening now, even in this region, amen. Amen. And, and this word is, is it's going out tonight. I tell you, not many days hence, you're going to see the results of what's being preached in your church tonight. Amen. 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 I'm talking about the gathering of the champions. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the gathering. Because one thing that is going to take, and we can so we can we we, we can disagree with apostle and the structure or the wisdom that God has given him to raise money. But it's going to take two things if you're going to bring vision to pass. Come on. People. Uh -huh. And money. And money. If you're going to bring the vision to pass. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. People and money. money. See, we, we talk about, yeah, we just trust in God. Yeah, we trust in God. <laughs> but when God sent the people, God sent the money. All right. And so you can't let the people come into your presence without making the withdrawal. That's it. I deposited, and I need you to make the withdrawal. Come on. That's why it's you know, our 25 coming in at. He instructed Moses. Get my stuff. Yeah, that's it. Get my stuff. Get my stuff. Working the Working, working. That's what he told him. Get my stuff. That's all he was saying. Let's get my stuff. Y'all want to get mad at me? Get mad at the word. If you get mad at the word, then God gonna deal with you. Right. Amen. Because he goes, he's going to know that you just ain't ready. So this is what this is what David said in, in verse 17 when he came out. When he came out, he said, Listen, if you become peaceably unto me. See, this, this is a real shepherd. He didn't send the sheep out to check this out. He didn't send the sheep out there. He went out to see what was going on himself. He said David was a warrior, amen. And you have to understand that if you under good leadership, you under a real warrior. David had the advantage because he understood that he understood that his power in being under and over at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. My God, that's why he let us know that the Lord is my shepherd.
shepherd. Yes. And that, that's why he said, and I shall not walk. Yes. Amen. And so when we understand that, that you, when, you, when you really come to a place of total submission or total surrender in this thing, you're going to know and understand the real blessings of God. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Surrender, surrender, uh, total surrender is a powerful tool. So David was a bad boy, but he was, he was surrendered to God. He submitted to the God that he was serving. So David steps out on the scene, and all he got, these were some bad brothers. Yes, sir. They were bad. These were some bad brothers. Yes, sir. But they knew they had to come in record numbers if they were going to deal with David. That's it. That's it. David was a bad brother, too. You see, this is what I'm saying. When God brings men of God like this together, see, what folks have to understand and realize in this hour that you can't talk about my brothers. All right. If you mess with one, you got to mess with all of us. Amen. Come on. That, that's how this thing worked today. All right. Amen. You know how it is in your family. Uh -huh. Things right. coming up. Yeah, you know. When you mess with one, you have to deal with all of them. That's right. And so David went out to meet him, but he had 600 misfits in the cut. Yes, sir. Yeah. He had trained them, man. Yes, he had some boys in the cut yes. waiting because David was ready to do something to you if you got out, if you came wrong. And so that's how, I, listen, folks don't understand. I, I ain't taking the beat down in church. Come on. I don't care what folks got going on. I'm not taking the beat down in the church. David wasn't trying to take it. It's good for me too. <laughs> the all, day, all David had on his mind was I'm a king. Yeah. That's all David had on his mind. I'm a king. I messed up. But yeah, he went to God. Yeah. I messed up, but he went to God. Because all he had on his mind was success. 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 How many leaders here tonight? Don't have success on your mind. Right. And I'll tell you, that's not a good leader. It's not a good leader. Right. Uh, now, I got success on my mind. Yeah. I got prosperity on my mind. Yeah. Listen, man, I'm looking for the good measures as he was speaking before. So God has promised this young man. I mean, he slipped the prophet in and it went through the back door and anointed him. And Saul didn't know what it was. And still to this day, don't know what's going on. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That God is so smooth. You, smooth. He, listen, God, God operates in ways that a little man don't never know what's going on. That's right. So yeah, he said, yeah, you messed up, but I got, I got apostle here. You ain't doing the job. I got somebody else in the region. Yes. This is what's happening. And so all everything, everything that came before you was assigned to the champions that is in this region. But because they blew it, he said, now I got somebody else that is trustworthy. Watch it, watch it, watch it. He can't speak this way about everybody. Uh -huh. But I have somebody here in the region that's trustworthy. And if he's trustworthy, then I can entrust him with everything that I said I was going to trust him with. Yes. See, now, now, now we dealing geographically and territorially. Come on. Now, man, listen, we have to understand that when I'm dealing geographically, I'm dealing with some stuff. That means that Abraham, as far as the eyes see it, I'm talking about your membership here. I'm talking about the blessings of God here. See, now, here comes the men, these guys, the Bible said, they can use either hand in war. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's in the book. You in the book. Either hand. Either hand. There was some boys so bad here that you want up with David. <laughs> now check this out. He said the weakest, the weakest one of them, could deal with a hundred men all by himself. Uh -huh. And the next one could deal with a thousand by himself. So listen, he's dealing with capacity here. Yeah. So what I mean, whatever, what is it that you know, what is your capacity? Right. Some elevators can't hold as much weight as the others. Come on. Right. 
Some folk can't handle a five bedroom home. Some folk can't even come out of a one bedroom or a studio. Amen. And some can handle a 14,000 square feet home. Watch it. Amen. Watch some, some, so it depends on your capacity. And how do I get to that capacity? God has to stretch me to that capacity. Amen. David, after he, after he killed Goliath, listen, his, 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 his trouble was just beginning. That his trouble was just beginning. And now I got to walk you through this thing to let you know that, listen, uh, the, 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 the capacity that one is being stretched to, that when, when it's all said and done, listen, my capacity is for you is like God's. My love for you is like God. I know what you did, but mercy is renewed day by day. Amen. And so no matter what you've done to me, I'm still going to walk with you when it's all said and done. Why? Because, listen, I, listen, you still have what I need. Yes. You still have what I need. Now, these guys recognize that Saul's time was up. And it's so many, so many folks, apostle, that is in this region, uh, according to what God has spoken to me, hallelujah, there's so many folks in this region, so many leaders, listen, if they don't get right for God, they're going to fall dead. Right. And them same folks that they was over, that they were leading, is coming to the man and woman of God that he can trust in this hour. That's right. yeah. Lord, that's they're right. going down in this season. Whether we want to hear this or not, this man of God is going down in this season. No more crooks in the pulpit. These folks, they, they listen, what God is using, this movement that is taking place in this season, it's going it's to it's happen with some men and women of God that he can trust. He said, I'm getting ready to do this thing now. I'm not waiting. I'm on, listen, this thing is in motion already. It's in motion already. He said, I'm, I'm getting ready to do this now. And the men and women of God that you know you can be trusted, position yourself to transition in God. Yes. Yes. So he said, I'm getting ready to do it. So I'm sending, I'm sending skilled, trained men and women to get you to the plateau that I predestined. I'm at. I got purpose on your life. I don't care what Right now, this is a springboard yes. to your real kingship. Yes. Well, I know where we are right now, but this is the springboard. Amen. David looking at these guys, he knew how awesome they were. Yes, he did. It's in the book. But he knew how awesome he was. Come on, man. Come on. So he, he listen, he was ready. Because he's, he's, listen, this is the one that spent time with God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He wasn't uneducated. That's it. Mm -hmm. So no matter how much education you got, listen, I got education too. That's right. Amen. <laughs> so no matter how much wisdom you think you got, I got some more wisdom. Amen. Amen. Because I got some godly stuff Amen. going on with me. I got something else working in my favor. So I'm letting you know that, listen, I'm not scared of you. I don't care how skilled you are. I don't care what kind of tool sets you got. I ain't scared of you. Come on. Amen. So listen, I'm coming out to take you one way or the other. Come on. I'm coming out to take this thing. I'm not backing up. I'm not regressing. Listen, I've ran long enough. Yes. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's what he would let these brothers know. Apostle, listen, I've ran long enough. This, this, this is my time, my hour, and my season now. So my time is going to be translated a selected occasion, a chosen moment. Amen. I'm getting ready to experience this thing. I'm getting ready to walk in this. Amen. I'm getting ready to go where God has anointed me to go. Amen. He anointed me some years back. Amen. But now this is the time right here. This is my chosen moment. This is my selected occasion. I'm getting ready to go up. Amen. David comes out out of the stronghold. He said, hey! Hey! <laughs> Working the problem. 
He's looking at feet, boys. Listen, this he said the Jordan banks had 